Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode, where in this video we're going to learn how to create a Postgres Docker image with preloaded data. Specifically, we're going to create an image so that whenever a Docker container is created from it, it will have a table called subscriber created, and it will have four rows, which are these right here. So how do we do this? So to initialize a Docker Postgres image with tables, configuration, and data, we need to use initialization scripts. And these are SQL or script files that are placed inside a specific folder in the Docker image. So for example, to get this all this data into a Docker image, we just need to copy this file into a specific folder in the image. And the folder that we need to copy this SQL file into is called, let me uh, paste it right here. It's called docker entry point initdb.d. So any scripts placed inside this folder will be executed after the default Postgres user and database are created. So, so for example, let me create a simple Docker file in here and paste some stuff here. So this Docker file right here will create a Postgres image and then copy this subscriber.sql file into the Docker entry point initdb.d folder with this line here. So when we're building this image, we just copy this file into this directory. Note that we also set some necessary environment variables for the Postgres image to work properly, which are these here. And now we just need to build the Docker image with the Docker build command. So let's build this image and we're gonna, just gonna call it p-i. And now let's create a container from this image using the Docker run command. So clear out this, it's just gonna be Docker name. We're gonna name the container p-c. We're gonna have it, we're gonna map the port 9001 on our local host machine to 5432 in the container which is where, of course, Postgres will be running by default. We're gonna set up a volume to var lib postgresql dash data, just so we can have a volume to make sure the data isn't removed when the image is destroyed. But so now let's just run this command. And if we check the logs here, we can actually see right here, running docker entry point subscriber.sql, we can see create table, and it's inserted four rows, which are these here. So this means that our container, when we start up a container from this image, we will by default have a subscriber table and also some data in it. And one thing I want to note though, is that these scripts will not be ran if the container is started with a data directory that already contains data. So for example, we set up a Postgres volume right here, my Postgres volume to var lib postgresql dash data. If we applied a volume that had data inside this directory, then our scripts inside Docker entry point init DB would not be ran. So if we created another image and we attached this volume, then this script would not be ran because the volume shows that there's data inside that directory. But so now just to further prove that this worked, let me open up a second terminal right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside this Docker container and just query it just to make sure everything's there. So what I did here is just executed a bash cell and an interactive one against our container. And now let's use PSQL, which is a terminal-based Postgres client to connect to this database. So we're connecting to MyDB as the user WIT code. And now let's just query the subscriber table. So all we need to do is select all from subscriber and we can see our four rows right here. But so this is all it takes to create a Postgres container or image with pre-populated data. If you like this video, please consider supporting me by downloading my Chrome extension called WIT Scepter. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.